Well, this is interesting. Russ Cameron sent me his Seidel Symphony 16 holer fitted with the only other Kettlewell frictionless mouthpiece that's ever been made in the world, really, of this type, made by Russ. I'm not going to do sound tests right now because I have to clean the harp. I have a lot of other things I need to do. But we are going to compare the sliders. I will mention it came in with a set of resonant covers to be put on here too. So that's another customization. And he wanted an ergo button on here, which I'll do for him. But let's take a look at what he's done. He's created, I'd call that a shallow slider. By shallow, I mean it doesn't extend down a tremendous amount onto the side. It's quite shallow. And unlike anything I've ever done, he's put a significant divot into the um, slider so that the lips kind of drop into a hole. There's some ramifications of doing that. Here's one of my sliders. Very different. One difference is, mine's very, very thick at the hole where air goes in, so a little richer tone, but his has a little bit faster response. I'm gonna say this is an example of a customization by someone that is not better or worse. It is simply different. It, it serves different values. And you can see how very thin it is at the edge of the hole here. That's about a millimeter, one millimeter in gap down here at that point between the bottom plane and there is one millimeter. And it kind of hugs the lip. I probably, if I were having this done, would have wanted a little bit wider one, but this looks like it was actually done by a machine. But to me, this is so fascinating You'll notice another thing. You see on his where there's really no roughness here. It's just a little bit of texture where on mine, it's very heavily textured on the outside. Why? Because you can div it in on his and mine. It's, it's the stiction on this friction area here to give you your grip as you go back and forth. But again, I mean, what a what a beautiful customization on his part and a fascinating approach. You can see it's shiny up here and shiny. They're quite different. They're they're not the same. And it was so cool to me that someone could do this. Um so what are we going to do? I'm going to clean his harp. I'm going to show you that. Then somehow I don't know how, but a lot of breast savers got boogered up. And so we have some stock breast savers and we'll, we'll be putting those on. And then we're going to put on these Kettlewell resonant covers and um, we're going to make an ergo button. 
and uh, we're gonna trick this puppy out. Then we're gonna then we're gonna sound test it after it's been cleaned and everything else. But anyway, I thought you'd just want to have a look at the Russ Camera version of the Kettlewell uh, frictionless mouthpiece. I think it's a brilliant design. Very intriguing.